What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to add Optifine to any Overwolf CurseForge mod pack. Of course, I'm saying Overwolf, as Overwolf have acquired CurseForge, and CurseForge will be completely moving away from the Twitch launcher on the 30th of November, which at the time of recording is in fact tomorrow. So, to add Optifine to any CurseForge mod pack, all you have to do is open up the new CurseForge launcher. Then, simply make sure you have the actual mod pack that you like to add Optifine to installed. If not, head across to Browse Mod Packs and install the mod pack that you'd like to add Optifine to. If you're confused with getting started, check the description down below for a guide on installing this new launcher, installing mod packs, customizing them, etc. etc. Once you have the mod pack installed, simply click on the image or the text to expand the details. On this page, we'll be looking for the Minecraft version. Simply looking for a gamepad icon, you'll see the version right next to it. Minecraft version 1.15.2. This is the version of Optifine that we'll be downloading and adding to this mod pack. Of course, not every single version of Minecraft is supported by the Optifine creators, but most of them are, especially the ones supported by lots of mod developers. All we have to do is look for the play icon and the text at the very top, and we'll be clicking the three dots stacked vertically to open up the options menu. Inside of here, we'll simply click open folder to open up the folder location that the mod pack is installed to. Inside of here, we'll be opening the mods folder and we'll see a complete list of jars that are installed by the plugin. All of these are separate mods. This is where we'll be adding the Optifine jar that we'll be downloading in just a moment. Again, remembering the Minecraft version that we're going to be using, we'll simply look for this on Optifine's webpage. Simply head across to the Optifine link in the description down below or simply head across to Optifine.net. Then click the Downloads tab at the very top and we'll be presented with a list of Optifine versions. Simply click Show All Versions and we'll see all of them over here. All you have to do is locate the Minecraft version that we're looking for. In my case, 1.15.2. If you see something like this where you don't have a simple download button, simply click Preview Versions to expand a download list. Then we'll be clicking Download next to the latest version of the available plugin. So that of course will be this one over here. I'll click the Download button. Otherwise, if you don't have the Preview Versions button and you simply have a download button, say for this 1.16.1 version, you'd simply click Download here. So, downloading the correct version of Optifine for my game, skipping through the ad and clicking Download once again, it'll then download the Optifine jar that will be moving into the Mods folder in just a moment. If you see something like this, simply click Keep and then we'll be opening up the folder that it's installed to by clicking the drop down and then Show in Folder. Of course, if you don't have this, simply open up your downloads folder. Then we'll see the Optifine jar that we just downloaded. All you have to do is drag and drop this across into the mods folder that we navigated to earlier. You can, of course, right click copy and right click paste it into this mods folder. There we go. Valhizia 2 mods now contains the preview version of Optifine for 1.15.2. Of course, yours might not be a preview release. After doing this, simply heading back to the CurseForge Overwolf launch room, we can head across to the Installed Mods tab and you probably won't see Optifine on this list. This is fine though, as we know that we've installed it. All we have to do is simply click Play if we're on this page. Otherwise, you can click Play from the My Mod Packs page under Minecraft. Next, we'll make sure the correct version of Minecraft is selected, which should be Valhizia 2 or whatever mod pack you're trying to launch. Simply click Play and our game will start up exactly as normal. And then, after loading up into the game, simply head across to the Options screen followed by Video Settings. If you see a whole bunch of new options here and the Optifine text in the bottom left, then congratulations, you've successfully installed Optifine for the mod pack of your choice. This of course was the installation for Valhizia 2, but it should be almost exactly the same for any mod pack available on the CurseForge launcher. Of course, you can adjust your settings to match your liking, click done, done, and then play the game, either multiplayer, single player, as you'd like, with or without shaders, fancy textures, etc, etc. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful and up. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!